Hey guys, it's Caleb with uh, White Metal Games, and I got a special video for you this morning. Uh, so I just got back from Thailand a few weeks ago. I was there on a destination wedding for my other business, my photography business. And since I've been back, I've been busy trying to catch up on a few commissions. Um, I had a fun little assembly commission come across my desk. Um, most of the time these days we do painting commissions, so it's rare just to get an assembly-only quote. Um, which is fun for me though because it allows me to just really enjoy the, the the assembly portion of the quote without having to worry about any sort of color or anything like that. I can really just hand that back over to the client and let them deal with it. Um, so it's a unique opportunity and I wanted to share with you what we did on this particular project. So this was actually sort of a two-part project. The first part involved a towel barracuda that had to be mounted to a plinth style base and the second part um, involved some orcs. So let's do the barracuda first. So the client in this case wanted it mounted to a special base. So as you can see here, the Barracuda is about the size of a standard flyer these days. It's comparable to like a, a Helldrake or a Thunderhawk or something like that. Um, he wanted it mounted to a flight stand. Um, so I mounted it to this wooden style plinth and I put a little base decoration on there. He fights a lot of orcs and necrons, not necrons, but tau and tyranids. So he specified that he wanted that sort of stuff on there. So I kind of put this little um, absorption pool on there, a couple rippers that are running in the other direction to show they're kind of fleeing. And then I put this dead termagant on there that we used a heat gun to sort of meld into place. Um, let me go ahead and show you the rod. So if you look underneath here, you can actually see how it was mounted. Um, and I'll actually pull the whole thing off, so that way you can really get a good... It's a little tricky to do with one hand. Let me actually put the camera down for a second. Okay. So here you can see that the original pilot hole for this was actually right where my thumb is. That's the hole that Forge World drills for you. Um, and it's center balanced, but it's a really small hole, and I looked around for some rod that would fit that, and I just don't feel confident that it's a strong enough uh, hold, a, a strong enough point to support this model. This is a heavy resin model; it's actually pretty beefy. Um, so you can see that originally he tried to drill his own pilot hole for some magnets there on the right hand side, and it just wasn't significant enough. So we drilled out a new hole for him. Um, and cleaned it up just a little bit, and then that way he can easily mount it to this acrylic rod stand. Um, not for sure on the exact dimensions of this thing. It's about a quarter inch rod. Um, but as you can see here, it's nice, it's light. I didn't go all the way through with the rod, so that way it's nice and stable. We did glue the rod into place, so when he primes it, he'll have to be a little careful. Just wrap it with a little tip bit of tape, and he'll be fine. Um, and then you can see that the termagant there has actually been... He's actually been, well, he was laid down, and then we just used a heat gun to make it look like he was kind of laying down, sort of melded into the ground. So once you splash a little blood on there, it'll look fine. Um, for the Luda portion of the project, which was a lot of fun, he wanted ten Ludas, but he also wanted them to show that they had defeated, um, like, again, Space Marines and uh, Tyranids and uh, Tau in combat. So what we looked around for were little bits and pieces that we could sort of glue on to show all of his little trophies. So for most of the guys we just glued on some little like basically tokens. So you can see there he's got uh, a spine fist that's been kind of used like a mohawk and he's got this ripper that he's mounted to the top of his gun. He's got the Space Marine parchment mounted over here on the side. And all of the guys have like two or three of these little token pieces. Uh, like he's got a termagant up there, he's got a space marine thing over here on the side. Sorry, the camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing, so I'm trying to find the focal mark there. Uh, okay, there we go. Seems to be really far out. Um, and then he's got uh, this little towel pad here on the knee. So a lot of these guys are like that. They've got all sorts of little bits. I used a lot of chaos sprue pieces, these little spiky bits to sort of show like this Tau helmet's been mounted to a spike on this guy. So it was sort of fun to kit bash. For two of the Ludas, the kits only come with four actual Ludas per box. You have to build two extra Ludas. So I used these old multi melters from an old kit bash, and I combined them with Space Marine bits to show that this guy had really just whopped on a Devastator. If you look closely, you'll see that he's wearing a Space Marine helmet as his own helmet, and then he's got these purity seals he's using for straps, so it's just really sacrilegious. And then he's got a big old power fist that he's taken from a Space Marine, as well as a Space Marine backpack that he's kind of repurposed. And he's even got a shoulder pad over there to sort of uh, help mount the, the multi-melta. He's also been weighted to help deal with the pewter balance issue, because this is a pretty heavy gun 
for a plastic model and it's only on the right side of the model so balance is an issue there but as you can see over here he's fine uh, we also did a second one of these we had to do two ludas so we found the second one for this one we added some hosing on just to kind of be for fun we had this old devastator backpack that we integrated into the model it doesn't really matter if it justifies how it works exactly because as with ludas it's one of those things it's like who knows how it works we've got this old space marine banner we mounted up top and we drilled some bullet holes through there uh, and used a little plastic glue to sort of uh, sort of muck it up a little bit. And then finally he's holding this space marine head aloft as though he's beheaded a marine and he's, um, you know, showing him to the enemy. And then a couple of these guys are actually standing on space marines. Like he's got, this guy's standing on a marine. You can see the marine carcass which is mounted to the base. And we had to cut it up quite a bit to make it work there. You can see that his leg is kind of bent at this awkward angle and he's trying to get his pistol up but the loot is just, you know, stomping this guy. And then this other one is standing on half a mangled crew carcass with the intestines kind of hanging out of the bottom. Um, and he's also got similar just bits all over the place. One of these guys has a knife that I used. A, oh, here he is. So I used a hormigant claw and I mounted it to a hilt to make it look like a knife that he had taken off of a hormigant. So he's now using the scything talon as his own personal um, um, cutta which I think is really fun. Um, so this was a fun project. It was a lot of fun just to do the assembly on that and just, I don't even have to worry about painting. I'll just ship it off to the client now and it's easy, easy peasy. Um, so that's about it. We've got plenty of other stuff in the works right now. Um, we're continuing our work on our big Epic Tyranid project. More of that to come in the coming weeks. Here's some close-up shots of some of the bigger ones that are already finished. And then we've got some more historicals coming out, some Aztecs, and we've got some of these Frog Kingdom warriors that we're adding to. The client wanted a few extra ones done. So lots going on, but um, we're actually finishing up several major projects probably in about the next month or so. So our queue is going to be opening up quite a bit come um, February, March. So if you've been interested in, in contracting us for a job, please contact us at um, Caleb at WhiteMetalGames.com or info at WhiteMetalGames.com, and we would be happy to send you a quote. Um, so that's about it for now. Um, hope you had a good New Year, and until next time, put your minis where your mouth is.